You already sweating? Because it's hot out here. It's North Carolina summer, and we've been working out here and sweating our bajangos off. And I actually uh, read a fact that you lose more calories when you're sweating a lot. <laughs> That, that's obvious. Yeah, <laughs> that's how it, it's taking your body energy to cool itself. How John, does it... I write some articles. Okay, you're... we got some measurements here. We've got some uh, cool things coming. Uh, it's going to be. See that piece of wood? You see that piece of wood? Yeah. You see they, these two pieces of wood? All of this in an octagon shape. See all this? Yeah. Circle. See this trampoline? We're gonna go to the pawn store and sell it for for like. One six hundredth ounce of gold. <laughs> oh no! Not yet, John. No. <laughs> Not yet. We're gonna, we're getting the world's largest backyard trampoline. Apparently, is what it's called, Goliath. Uh, <laughs> it's the largest. It is. It's the largest. Uh, one Ivan, on the, the trampoline man, called me and told me that this thing's larger than than life. Uh, but today we're not doing trampoline or tricking. We're doing uh, a beach body workout, which is ideal for anyone watching. Right. <laughs> well, ideal if you can get to a gym right now because it does involve some gym equipment. And gyms yeah. are starting to open back up in different places. Apparently, they never closed in Florida. Is that true? They closed. They closed they definitely for a little bit. I had to, have, right? Yeah, they closed for the weekend. I think certain private gyms <laughs> remained open, but the public gyms had to close. The dude. entire state has pneumonia during the summertime. Dude, that's straight up. Everybody on Florida is like, hey, man, I'm trying to fit in a bodybuilding show, but I got pneumonia. How do I work around <laughs> it? <laughs> dude, I've been cutting so well, dude. The pneumonia, man. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Just coughing so many calories. <laughs> Outside, sweating, coughing. <laughs> Double burn. Yeah, dude. All the all the liquid in my body? Oh, it's not in my skin or muscles. It's in my lungs. <laughs> These are not comic books. Mm -mm. These are Juju Mufu's programs coming out. I haven't read this yet, but I've done workouts from all of them. Invincible Athlete, Almost Naked Athlete, and The Groundbreaker. Mm -hmm. John, tell me. From the author's point of view, how did you name these? <laughs> well, this one I named actually based on the artwork because I had the artwork for something else. Okay. And I didn't like it. It was this was the artwork for this one, and I didn't like it for that. So I was like, he looks almost naked. So I was like, oh, okay. So that's a good name for that program. Yeah. He's almost naked. Yeah, kind of a doc, <laughs> doctor, doctor Man Juju Hatton. Hatton. Yeah. So this is a ring and barbell one. We did a workout from that one in a previous video. Mm -hmm. Um, this one is a program for people that want to just... Is that Metroid Prime on that shit? No, it does look good though. It's Ghouls and Ghosts based. Oh, you know? okay. Nice. Looks like the Ghouls and Ghosts. I named this one because it's for larger athletes that kind of want to start breaking the ground by doing more jumping stuff. Okay. And bouncing in a four-week rotation. So, we're doing this workout today. Is there a butt on the front? A butt? Oh, we're going to be doing this today, upper body hypertrophy. Yeah, this is a... Uh, it, and you screenshot it and run it and not know what the fuck you're doing. Yeah. <laughs> Are these going to be digital too? Yeah, they're digital too. So you can get the digital or digital and book combo. Sexy. Two. I had the idea, I think maybe it was last video, of you um, doing an audio workout program where they listen to it in their ears while they're working out, man. <laughs> think of if you timed it based on the rest sets and the sets, like giving the motivation in between <laughs> That's, dude, that'd be a world first, right? We'll do a workout. That's 90 minute moving meditation. <laughs> with you speaking with, with in me the speaking. speaking. <laughs> we'll, we'll record it with the OK podcast set up. Yeah. And then we'll just, we'll link it in the bottom dude, of the video. Of I'm telling you. Video. We'll try because it out. Because people talk, say that you have a Joe Rogan voice all the time. You have a voice. It built. does not sound no. like Joe Rogan. No. My laugh sounds like his sometimes. It does, it That's does. That's what it, it does. is. You have a voice built for CB radios. That's not true. This is the first super set. How many times a week do you do real delt raises, John? Twice. Twice a week. How many times do you viewers do it? Because it is very important for your shoulder and back to look freaking huge. John's uh, book, there's a nice little uh, journal element that you can actually record your weight on. If you uh, really need to, I mean, lateral raises like you're not going from <laughs> you're going from 15 to fucking 30s in a lifetime. So, <laughs> well, when I ran the full program, I just did the same weight every week, pretty much, because you can actually make um, muscle gains. You, 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 oh, yeah, you yeah. can build muscle doing the same weights every week for a oh, while. Oh hell yeah! You know, you don't always have to go up. 
I mean, ladder raises are one of those. Like, you if you're really? trying to go up on ladder raises, there's pr it's probably bad. Yeah. It's just about being consistent with it and just doing it. And feeling like I told John off camera, I warm up with lighter weights on lateral raises because if I just go to heavy, my traps just fucking engage massively. Yeah. And, uh, and you, you're going to get a trap pump regardless from lateral raises, but you want to feel your shoulders. So. Right, yeah. Contact with oh, Jesus. <laughs> it's just a punch. Yeah. In that way. We broke the one camera with punching. We don't need to break another. Does anyone know that the fight scene we did with Martins in my driveway in this video? We never talked about it. No, we never. It's just it was unspoken. The people that actually watched to the middle of the video were rewarded by a by an Easter egg fight scene that you made up. Yeah. It was brilliant. Yeah. Ah! 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 Back and watch the fight scene. We broke a camera in that. Yeah, yeah. I hit it out of Tom's hand while he was filming. Well, it still works as a stationary camera. Does that work for burning more calories? Uh, this thing? Yeah. I thought it was streetwear. The streetwear? Yeah. I can't focus, guys. Sorry. <laughs> trying, trying to focus. Something's, something's not working here. Why is not it? Not focused on me. I'm trying. I, I, I don't have a point, like, you don't have, it's usually easier when you're wearing a fucking shirt with rain on it or something, I can focus on the logo. Oh, you think my... Is autofocus on? I feel so stupid if autofocus is on. Nope, main focus is on. Oh, good God. I'm done recording this clip. I thought you were going to record my shoulders. Okay. This is Viking Press. Yeah. And why is it good for bodybuilding shoulder? Uh, well, you can also, this is a pre-exhaust, so... We've done an isolation movement for kind of a compound. Mm -hmm. This is almost like almost like a half compound exercise, you know? Uh, it's still got the lever down there. Yeah, it's like halfway to a machine. Because you grab it here or here or here, and you use a little different stance, so you can dial in the muscle a little bit better. Sure. In a straight up barbell press. Not to say the straight up strict barbell press doesn't build shoulders. Dude, no. It does. It does. Remember the last last week I've actually uh, one of the reasons why we didn't post so much for a while is because Juju and I both had a lot of nagging injuries and all of, all, almost all of them are getting a lot better. But I basically had a shoulder injury for the entire year that wasn't improving. I couldn't military press and I've been doing it the last couple weeks and it feels fucking sick. It's great. But I did a five by five of like 125 the other week and my shoulders were pumped out of their minds. <laughs> But am I going to be able to do much else before that or after that? Ah, not much. No. Mm. I've been doing a lot of dyna dynamo. Dynamometer? I've been doing a lot of dynos in the rock climbing gym that's closed. I've been sneaking in there to get my workouts in. Dynamic arm swings. I've been doing a lot oh, of yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude, it really, like, that was a nail in the coffin to finishing off my bicep tendonitis. Hmm. It's because a lot of it originates in the shoulders. Right. And all those ball exercises on the wall, you know? Mobility drills and stuff to kind of loosen up the long head of the bicep that's attached to the shoulder girdle up there or shoulder whatever They weren't helping. I just started doing dynamic arm swings Shoulders hmm. like biceps They feel good. Now. Well if we look past back on it a lot of dynamic movements would erupt the uh, the problems with it the pain. Yeah, so uh, it, it Lighter dynamic movements that weren't as explosive. Yeah. It would make sense that they would help because yeah. we just needed to introduce that stuff back mm -hmm. into it But I had stopped doing that stuff right because we had hurt yeah, yeah. <laughs> But, but now we're okay. okay now. I mean, there's also a very distinct uh, Thing that's not been in the arm. Uh, Did you just say uh, oh, yeah, we haven't been doing something uh, 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 uh. You need to really get the uh, pneumonia checked out. Where are you? Oh. Where are you uh, Florida I mean, that's when we opened our rock climbing gym, man. Yeah. You see, we're going to be like all the other fitness videos now that just record uh, the person's exercising muscle group in silence. Yeah. <laughs> because uh, when your back looks this good, you don't have to say anything. <laughs> that's the great thing about pressing movements. Ah! Woo! <laughs> Does your back look so good in that? I did Juji weight! You did, you did the same weight as me. All right, ladies and gentlemen. This muscle here is called the bicep. No! It's just, there's three of them! This muscle here is called the brain. 
It's not a muscle. It's most Martin. men use it, <laughs> but most men don't do tricep extensions in a state of near heat exhaustion. <laughs> and it is, it is getting to that point. <clears throat> this, uh, this workout is a beach body workout, so you need to do the arms. So uh, triceps, uh, we're gonna do some bicep death. That's about it. I mean, if you guys, uh, if you're wondering if Juji's uh, moisture on his body is real or fake, Juji doesn't sweat, so it's, it's. I just get a spritzer bottle and just spray my face with it between sets, so it looks like I'm working harder than I really am. It does, I'm not yes. That yeah, yeah, yeah. And you know who else does that? Jocko Willink does that on his photos. Uh, 4:32 a.m. What just a debacle it would be if, if uh, Jocko? That'd be the biggest conflict slash uh, drama of the year. You know, like guys, I haven't actually been sweating on my concrete. It's a sprayer bottle, man. <laughs> Dude, he won't go back on Joe Rogan because of that. No, you already have a pump just overall. This is bicep death. We've done this. We haven't done this in a video in a very long time, other than the 24-hour bicep death. <laughs> but this oh, is a structured, this is a structured bicep death. It's actually good for your biceps. Oh. Essentially, you do a bunch of reps at a certain weight, take 30 second rests, and you do usually eight sets, is it? Yeah. But today we're doing five because uh, it's just really hot and we're tired and, it, and we're going for the maximal pump yeah. of, uh, for a picture rather than the maximal pump for future. Uh -huh. <laughs> There's a difference, man. Yeah. You could lose it in a second and your life could be less appealing. You know, I think about those muscle beach photos that uh, you know, people posted back in the 70s. Mm -hmm. In California, it doesn't feel like this outside. True. <laughs> it's back in November, man. Oh God, it's getting that in November. No way. No matter how lean you are. All right, you okay. got 30 seconds. I don't know. It's, it's just, just do it, man. Just do it. <laughs> Grip it, grip it, rip it, baby. Grip it, rip it. Oh, rip it. Hey, you know loading pins are back in stock at Grip Daddy. Oh, Daddy. Yeah, get you one. The key to They've grip been out strength. Of stock since like Black Monday. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I think every day. Help! 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 It's not working very well. We're discussing how to uh, accomplish the best photo for his pump, guys. But the basement doesn't have good lighting yet. I haven't done it. I have a ring light down there. Oh, son of a bitch. Oh, no, 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 no. Come on. Come on. Come on. More veins, man. Pay your taxes. Ah, one more. I gotta pay my state taxes, too. Mm hmm. No, this is. Oh! Oh, no, no, no. It's the body tax. It's like they defaulted in my state. Cool. All right, well, fuck. All right. Yeah, we've lost the light. This is overcast is good for natural light for uh, consistency, but not good for shadows. So Let's just take it in the kitchen. Oh, a frying pan or something. Yeah. <laughs> You'd be surprised, guys. After years of filming stuff for YouTube, I still don't know how to operate a camera. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> Tom, would you say that uh, if you're deserted on a stranded spaghetti island and you had to decide for yourself whether to do strict bicep curls or cheated creature curls for maximum reps, how many times would you choose the latter over the former before you starve to death? Uh, didn't listen to a word he said. <laughs> The woman that used to live here apparently did welding sculptures and other pieces of metal artistic, artist, artistic, 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 artistry, dynamic, dynamic artistry, and Tom is going to edit this out of the video anyway, but it doesn't matter. So she used to pile up all her scrap metal back here and just cover it with a tarp. What a horrible person. You were just saying autism multiple times. In a row. I was saying uh, artistry. Autismal. Ooh. So what we're doing, if we haven't explained it, is rest pause, it's a bodybuilding principle where you basically uh, do as many reps as you can to failure and then 
you rest pause, which is basically like a really short rest set. Traditional rest pause is only like a few seconds, you do one rep, a few seconds, you do one rep, a few seconds, you do one rep. But for this, it's a modified rest pause, so you're actually resting about 20 to 30 seconds, and then you're doing more reps than one, one rep. And you do that for, well, we're doing it for five sets this time, Yeah. but we usually do it up to about eight. Yeah. But, uh, you know, for brevity's sake and for our sanity, it's still hot out here, guys, even though you can't see the sun behind all the arrows in the sky, the heat arrows being shot towards us. I think but they can tell from my face how hot it is. I don't think they can distinguish between how hot it is from your face and how annoyed you are with what I'm saying behind this camera. I mean, that's the usual. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Nice. Nice, come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, I'm young! What did you say? I'm on my own! <laughs> <laughs> what does that mean? That's, you, were, you, were, you were reaching out to help me, but you didn't help me. That's what it means. <laughs> cool thing about doing lots of biceps during this quarantine is that you, they get stronger. To be honest, uh, on curls, like my my palm starts hurting more than my biceps. Um, really? I think it's just the spot on the uh, uh, the curl bar, the way it's made. Right there? It's a little angled, you know? Yeah. So just rest on my palm pretty hard. Oh. Yeah. They're not really, uh, they're pretty discriminatory for people's arm leverages. Yeah. I have long arms, maybe it helps me more. I don't think so. Uh, I don't know. Because I was just doing a lot of weight. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And your biceps are definitely stronger than mine. Come on now. Come on! Come on, yeah, look way over there. Just perfect. Good oh, stuff. Man. Good stuff. Headset on like a <laughs> GoPro <laughs> of a bodybuilding workout. Oh, <laughs> POV no. bodybuilding. That'd be the most exciting oh, videos ever. God, dude. We'll do a whole series on it. We'll go collaborate with all the top bodybuilders. Yeah, and we'll we just make them. Dude, how a... awful would we be? Hey, man, can you just like put the GoPro in your mouth? <laughs> Get the best angle, man. Yeah. Oh, you, don't, you don't want to do it? You're not a real YouTuber. You know who would do it with us? Kai Green. He'd do it with us. He loves putting stuff in his mouth, though. That's the thing. Water, <laughs> electrolytes, food. Yeah. You're at peace with the world. You're at peace with your biceps. You're at peace with the pump. You're at peace with your wrists. <sighs> to put it succinctly, yeah. you're at peace. Freaking A! My tendons aren't. <laughs> hey, hey, just be happy or not. Rumlay Essling Ray. How's it looking? It looks best when you're flexing. <laughs> this is this is a hard exercise to make look good, actually. Even, <laughs> even for a bodybuilder, this well, big. Yeah. It's stretching the working muscle to an extreme point. It's just kind of, yeah, there. It doesn't look that cool. Just hold it in the front. Even your chest doesn't look that cool in the front. Yeah, not really. But, uh... Why is it at the end of the workout? So, on the program, we rotate the muscle groups around so you get the experience what it's like to put different muscle groups before <laughs> other muscle groups, but this is my favorite order, and I like to put chest at the end because if you get some blood in your elbows and uh, your biceps, it tends to take a lot of pressure off of them in a movement like this. I seem to feel the pump in my chest. Like I, I did a similar workout three days ago. Yeah. That was chest, shoulders, and biceps. And I did flies earlier on in the workout. Yeah, and you and liked it? I, I liked it, but I actually feel, right now, I feel the pump quicker and I have like a better connection to my tater. Yeah, and less connection to your clavicle. <laughs> yeah. It's a common, common thing in this exercise, so. Yeah. And I feel like this exercise is just better chest exercise for building muscle. And at this point, I'm just trying to maximize my hypertrophy selection so I don't waste my time doing a bunch of bench pressing, which isn't gonna make me more muscular. Uh, not, some <laughs> people might if they have genetics for it, but. Yeah, or they do uh, a crap ton of it. But also this is, our ten, uh, uh, the, the, the word that I'm not gonna speak, uh, like our injuries and all that stuff, we're getting we're still getting them better you know doing this yeah. stuff is not going to make them any more severe so it's just going to heal them more mm -hmm. but if if, uh, if they catch us saying it 
Or if I catch you saying it, right? If I catch me saying it, or you, you we catch gotta put me it in a piggy it. bank jar with some money. Yeah, I think we got to do something. I don't carry cash. I mean, think of some ideas. Uh, if we say that word, what we have to what we have to put into let's put into a fund that we have to give away. Good. <laughs> Right? We got to It can't them. be anything serious. Hundred dollars for the minimum word, but uh, yeah, we can we can think of something interesting. Right. We could. Oh, that's it. We're getting rings made for Grip Genie. Yes. Right. Yes. So every let's do the next month. If you hear us say meningitis, not meningitis. No, uh, in any videos in Instagram or say it anywhere, then we add a set of rings to that giveaway pile. And we start this giveaway pile at 10 rings anyway. Well, I said it earlier in the video. The what? The, the that counts then. Okay, 11. 11 in the pile. <laughs> <laughs> but we can't say it. This, the, that's, that's our one from this video. Uh, but after this, we can't say it. They got to catch us. Why um, do you have sunscreen in your mouth? Well, I'm cutting. Oh, God! And it's, it's like... It looks like something else. Uh, not just not. <laughs> oh, yeah, how much did you put in your mouth, Tom? Like a tooth, uh, if you were overdoing toothpaste, you know? Not a pea size, maybe like a ball size. 